Disclaimer, this is not a soldering tutorial. Rather, it is a tutorial on the subject at hand. Nothing extra will be taught. That is all. Zoom. Hey guys, today I am finally going over how to make a USB-C adapter for any device. The example that I will use is a Zoom cable, because I love Zoom and you can't stop me. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the things that you will need are as follows. A soldering iron. Flux. solder, a heat gun or a lighter, wire strippers, shrink tubing, a zoom cable or whatever cable you want but I don't know why you wouldn't want to zoom, and a USB-C female connector. All right, now it's time to get started. First, choose a length for your adapter, mark the cable, and then cut the cable a little longer than the length that you marked. Second, you're gonna strip the cable with the zoom end from that max length marker and remove the sleeve from the rest of the cable. Strip a little bit off of the four exposed wires as well. Now, tin those little wires and tin the USB-C female connector on all four pads. With all of that preparation done, next you're going to want to cut a bit of the skinnier shrink tubing and slide it onto the cable. Then cut a part of the fatter tubing and slide it on too. With the tubing out of the way of the wires, solder the wires to the four pads of the connector in this orientation. Black equals ground, green equals data positive, white equals data negative, and red equals power. Make sure your joints are clean and solid as well. Lastly, after that is soldered, Slide the skinny tubing into position over the small wires, then heat it up to shrink it. Then slide the fatter tubing into position over the connector and the wires atop the smaller tubing, and then shrink that, and it should look something like what I have on the screen. Now, as long as you got the cables in the right order, this should work just fine. If it doesn't work, you will have to look at the solder joints as well as the cable positions. But that aside, that's all there is to it. Now with the information you have, it's up to you to make your adapter look the way you want it to look. You can make it shorter, longer, make it even more compact. So take that information and have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.